All right. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to what should be the first episode in a slightly different series. At the moment, I am still on the survival world that me and Anya have been playing on. Uh, she built a pathway to the nether and then got a little bit carried away and built all this as well over the last couple of days. So I'll run around this so you can see how the town is looking whilst I explain what this series will be doing. Now, the impetus for this one actually came from a message I was sent, which I'll quickly read the bulk of right now. Hey bro, I've been playing Minecraft for a while now, a year I believe, but I am absolutely shite at it. I'm going to assume this guy's probably Australian. I want to know how, how do you make your houses so cool? Like, how do you find out your different designs? How do you get your materials, etc.? Now, firstly, I'm not sure that my houses are entirely cool, but I do think I have a certain ability when it comes to tying them all in together and stuff like that, so I don't think I'm a fantastic builder, but I also don't think I'm a crap one. Alright, so the first thing that would come to mind is tutorials. If you just want a big building like this pagoda, typing Minecraft tutorial pagoda into YouTube should find you a tutorial on how to build something, if not exactly like this, something very, very similar. This exists on plenty of different servers, and I'm 100% certain that a video tutorial on how to build it would exist. But that doesn't really answer the question. That will teach you how to replicate that building, but that's something kind of different. You may pick up on some of the underlying reasons why that works, and you might be able to apply those to the things like these smaller buildings, but not necessarily in such a way that you can apply it to anything else. So instead, what I'd like to do is look into the more basic fundamental things that make structures or anything in Minecraft look good in a way that you can apply them to anything that you might be building. Even if all you can build is a big square box with a door in it, which I think is where we'll start. So without further ado, let's move to a big square box with a door in it. Okay, this is about the most basic structure that you can make in Minecraft. It's just cobblestone walls and a wood floor. This particular one is, I think, 13 wide and 6 high. Anybody should be able to do this. I honestly could not see how you couldn't. But, obviously it looks a bit bland. Probably quite an understatement, but whatever, we're going for basic here. So, the first thing you need to do is figure out a way to break up the monotony. The best way to do that is to pick one other block. Either a contrasting block, which is how this sort of log and wood thing works, or a really complementary block, which is what I'm going to go for this time, and I'm going to use stone bricks. Now, you could just sit them into the wall. Oops, I broke an extra one there. And that is the simplest way of doing it. Just to break up the pattern just a bit with a different block. If you're going to do that, which is essentially what we did in the other server, you're better off using a, a, a contrasting one. That'll work better in this situation, see? Than it does over here. So if you're trying to use complementary colors, you're going to have to do something else. And the easiest way I've found to do that, and this does take a little bit of planning because things start to get thicker than you might expect. But the easiest way is to create a little bit of depth. That was wrong. Oh, hello, villager. Move along. Go on. I don't want to set you on fire, but I will. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to put a door in there so it stops looking quite so weird. Okay. We're starting to get a little bit of depth there, but that alone isn't going to cut it. Not even close. So, the first thing you could do would be... Oops. This. Come on. I can reach. There we go. Now we've actually got some structure to it. And if I go put one of... Hmm, I'm this one. That should do it. There we go. 
that's about the simplest way you can do it. Create a little bit of depth and a border. So rather than having a nice big flat wall like so, you now have that. That's really easy to do. All you have to do is work on the outside, but it's still a little bit plain. So what I like to do, if possible, is increase that depth. Give me my grass, mate. Increase that depth by another level. In this case, I'm going to use stairs. Now that you can put them upside down, that's kind of a big thing. I'll just do it here for now. Come on. Now we've got an extra layer of depth in there, and I'm going to make an extra one again by doing something similar with these pillars. Now we've got that. To tie it in, I'm going to ring around it with these again. And there we go. All right, so that is looking better, but it's still a little bit bland. So the most obvious thing to do would be to add windows. A few ways to do that. Uh, the most obvious being obviously to just knock some holes in it and put in some windows. That alone is already looking significantly better than what we started with, which was that. Well, okay, if you want to get technical, it was that. So with two extra blocks, you can at the very least do that to your walls. This is not what I'm going to do, however. What I'm going to do is a little bit more complicated for the time being. Though it will require me to shrink the inside of this place. So if I was going to do this on a proper project, I would have to make it much larger on the outside. And you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to place a third layer of steps to continue the depth in one more step. And that has given a nice, I think, amount for the front. And what I'm gonna do, and this is where it starts to get much thicker than it would have to be if I wasn't gonna do this, is this, I'm gonna remove those for a second. And I'm gonna install in here, oops, some redstone lights. Now, unfortunately, these need to be powered. You could use glowstone. <clears throat> you could use glowstone, of course. Oops. Not too far out there. Uh, but I like the look of these better. So now the interior wall is going to have to come out in order to hide that. Depending on how I wanted to do this. You do it a multitude of ways, but the fact of the matter is you are going to be stuck. Even if I open up the holes with a three thick wall. Well, more than that at this point, but on the other hand, it does give you a really nice front. The basic interior rules can follow essentially the same concept. One of the problems at the moment is if you start using, there we go, that, that happens. If you start using half slabs on the roof and then there's a block above them. You can actually fix that by putting a light source above that block, uh, such as, 
I think that should work. But attempting to do so does create some logistics when it comes to figuring out how you're going to build things. Now, the modular nature of this kind of stuff does mean that you can just extend things out really easily. So if we go for another one, two, three, four, and then we need one of those, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one. Bring that one across. That one's already across. And then one, two, oh, no. Three and four. Got it. And one, two, three, four, five. One, one, So those things are fully modular, you can just expand them out as much as you want and they're essentially going to look good no matter what. We can easily make this a little bit wider. So there we go, a really simple modular way of using one or two other kinds of blocks to turn this into this. Now, if you continue it around the side here, you could just make a square of it out of that. You will start to run into problems when you hit the corners. That can technically be solved just by a really simple addition of sort of a girdering. And that will look, that will look fine. But you can also get quite a lot more complex, but we'll do that in another episode. But just to start with, a nice simple way of sprucing up any form of large cobblestone building you've got. And just to quickly show that it's not simply a case of texture packs, I should be able to switch between a couple. And the design theory should hold relatively true. All right, now I'm not 100% sure that there's any form of established vernacular for this kind of stuff, so I may just have to make up some terms myself. But here are a couple other examples using the same basic theory. We've got layering and we've got what I'll call framing, which is these things here. And in this case, also light sourcing to create some nice effects. Uh, this can be done with any block that has the right required blocks. So this is nether brick in my texture pack, and that will work for the interior, which just needed the blocks and the squares, or the stairs, but not for the exterior, because the exterior needed the half slabs, and for some reason, nether brick half slabs do not exist. And here's the same thing again, but this time using wood and sandstone. Sandstone does get the additional bonus of having these uh, textured blocks, that you can throw in, it gives a nice effect, and it's still subtle enough that things don't try start to get too complicated and messy. That is something worth pointing out, of course. The more you start putting in, the messier it tends to become. So the more detail you've got, the more you can afford to have large areas without as much detail, uh, which can further be framed by areas with more detail again. This kind of stuff does get a bit complicated and inception-y, but hopefully I can do a good enough job of explaining what I'm talking about so that it actually makes sense. All right, so that's the first episode done. Now, there's a lot I can go through when it comes to this kind of stuff, and it does become 
a little bit difficult to figure out what's going to be too basic and what's going to be useful for people who are really trying to put their first feet into building really interesting things in Minecraft. So in this particular instance, feedback would probably be incredibly useful because uh, it's really hard to judge what the best sort of information to put out there is when you don't necessarily need the information yourself. So if you have any feedback, uh, let me know in either the comments or via private messages. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see something on, do the same. And until the next episode, goodbye, have fun and enjoy building.